He is risen. He is risen indeed. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here and joining us. We have uh, what I hope to be uh, a meaningful uh, uh, celebration remembrance on this Easter Sunday. A couple of things as we begin. We have a slide here with our April ambassadors, and this is, I think, the Canopies. Is I am I pronouncing that correctly? Canopies. Um, and those are our ambassadors of the month for April. Can you believe it? Tomorrow is April as we begin the new month. Uh, tomorrow night we'll be beginning a new lady study. Uh, tomorrow evening that will be beginning. And uh, so we want to uh, invite you to that as well. Uh, if you, um, we are going to be having the tithe and offering during our time of communion today. So later on, uh, in the middle of, the, of our presentation, when we're doing incorporating communion into our time of worship, if you want to present your tithes and offerings here, the offering plates are at the front, and you can just bring that with you at that time and do that. So, we have uh, an Eastern uh, presentation for you here today that is uh, entitled, The Power of the Cross, a Praise and Worship uh, Easter, uh, if you will. And so this is woven into this is music that uh, these wonderful folks will be uh, leading and be featured on, but also uh, you congregationally will be worshiping with us, uh, not just at those times, but as well throughout the piece. So um, if any time you see lyrics up here, not just a title, but whole words to songs, that's your cue to sing along. When you just see one title slide with no words, don't sing. <laughs> no, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can sing, that's fine. You better know it. Okay, so... Because <laughs> they probably have a solo and they might be distracted. They're like, these people keep singing with me, they don't know it. Um, so if you see words on the screen, please sing along. If you want to stand and worship with us, that's wonderful. Uh, you, you don't have to, but um, you might get a little bit of a, a workout on this Easter Sunday in preparation for that Easter dinner as well. And uh, maybe, or from the Easter breakfast that you had this morning. So we do uh, hope that today is a special time of remembrance for you and for all of us uh, at this special time. Let's pray as we begin. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you and praise you for your greatness and for your goodness, Lord. I thank you for the incredible sacrifice of Jesus Christ. I thank you for this opportunity to worship, to remember, uh, and to proclaim this day. And uh, I just thank you for each one that is gathered here today. I just thank you for all of this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we begin. Father, we're here to celebrate your greatness and proclaim your power and authority. We say to you and to each other that you are our God and we will worship no one else. You are not a God. You are not a God to me. 
And Father Lord, I thank you and praise you that we can raise our voices to you, Father, in this setting, coming into this sanctuary. Give you all thanks for you, Lord, reign above all else. Hallelujah to you, Lord. Amen. There we go. Hallelujah to the one, the true God. that nothing can ever separate us from His love. Death can't, and life can't. The angels can't, and the demons can't. Our fears for today, our worries about tomorrow, even the powers of hell can't keep God's love away. Whether we are high above the sky or in the deepest of oceans, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.
Thank you. 
I thank you and praise you for this time of communion. I thank you for not only what it represents, Lord, but how we can draw closer to you through this time. I thank you as we continue now in worship, I'm continuing it, what we just did as an expression of worship, what we did before that as an expression of worship, uh, bringing our tithes and offering, Lord, to you as an expression of worship, Lord, and as we continue with our words of praise, all in worship and adoration of you, glorifying you, Lord, and giving you all thanks, humbly, humbly, and thankfully. Thank you, in Jesus' name. It was our weaknesses he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God for his own sins. But he was wounded and crushed for our sins. He was beaten that we might have peace. He was whipped and we were killed. All of us have strayed away like sheep. We were left in God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the guilt and sins of us all.
it is so humbling to think of the cross. Before the cross, we struggled beneath the weight of a law that we could never keep. But at the cross, we were given forgiveness and freedom. Because of the cross, we have hope as we look forward to spending eternity with Christ. And through the cross, God gives us the power to live a life that is completely surrendered to His will.
Amen. You are the first and the last, the beginning and the end. You are God alone, and we look forward to the day when your home will be with us. Your word says you will give life among us, and we will truly be your people. And we'll join with the angels and the saved of all the ages to sing, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. You are worthy to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. We will worship at your throne, and you will reign forever and ever. Amen. We ask that you stand as we close out our Easter service. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven.
name, amen? amen. He is risen. He is risen Praise His name, amen and amen. Thank you for fellowshipping with us today. Thank you for worshiping with us today. And most importantly, thank you for worshiping the one true God. Amen? Amen. amen. God bless you. Thank you.